Joining us tonight, as he always does, I should say almost always does on Friday nights, Pastor Robert Jeffress from the First Baptist Church in Dallas, Fox Business contributor, great American. What do you think of this fellow, Wayner, uh, and the Atlantic <laughs> being so interested suddenly in evangelicals? Oh, listen, Peter Weiner has been complaining about me and evangelicals for four years. The fact is, Lou, we got a tremendous deal in President Donald Trump. He has not only fulfilled, he's exceeded every promise he made to evangelical Christians. And I think Peter Weiner, George W. Bush, Mitt Romney, Ben Sass, they are all disgraces uh, to the Republican Party. I tell you, under George W. Bush and Ronald Reagan, we never got three Supreme Court court justices who are conservative, almost 200 federal judges who are conservative. We never got the kind of pro-Israel policy. They worked against evangelicals, sometimes behind their uh, backs. And this is why, Lou, I've said to the president often that I believe the evangelical turnout in, on November 3rd is going to be greater for the president this time than it was in 2016. And to confirm that, I talked today with the leader of the largest get out the vote campaign for for Christians across the nation. He says the enthusiasm is immeasurable that is out there right now and that evangelicals are going to turn out in droves on November 3rd to reelect our great president. You know, it looks like people are going to turn out in droves generally uh, for, I mean, we're looking at huge numbers here on mail-in ballots. Uh, it, it looks as though that uh, silent majority, if you will, uh, the shy Trump voter may not be so shy when it comes to November 3rd. Uh, the president is establishing considerable momentum, particularly in the battleground states. So this is, uh, this is very encouraging, I would think, uh, certainly for the president and everyone who's been supporting him. Uh, and Biden, it looks to me like the air is coming out rather quickly. Your thoughts? <laughs> Well, I think we saw the air coming out last night. Uh, look, uh, we saw last night two competing visions for America, an America that's controlled by freedom or an America that's controlled by government. And I think you also saw two very different kind of leaders. I mean, I don't want to be cruel, uh, uh, Lou. The fact is that there's nothing shameful or sinful about aging. We all do it. And the Bible talks about aging as something that happens to all of us. But my gosh, there was such a difference between the energetic, robust Donald Trump and the very frail and halting yeah. uh, Joe Biden. The fact is, we need a robust, uh, energetic president, and we've got that in Donald Trump. Yeah, do we ever. Pastor, it's always great to have you with us and uh, to support your statement on, the, uh, on what this president is doing uh, for faith and religion in this country, putting God back in the public square. Uh, yes. The Trump administration signing an anti-abortion declaration along with 31 other countries. Uh, quite, a, uh, quite a departure from, let's put it this way, his predecessor. Pastor Robert Jeffress, thanks for being with us.